Hello, good morning students. Today is Monday, March 30th, 2020. And today's lesson is about present perfect, negative and interrogative. But before we start, let's remember what the present perfect is used for. It's mainly used to emphasize the actions that were done other than the time they were done. That is why we have to pay attention to the time expression when we are speaking. We mustn't be specific about the time. That's why here you have a chart with common time expressions. Time expressions can appear in different places on a sentence, usually all the way at the end or after the subject and before the verb. Here you have some examples about time expressions like never, just, at last, ever, yet, before, lately, so far. Yesterday, we talk about the affirmative form of the present perfect. Let's start with the negative form. The negative of present perfect is formed using a subject plus the auxiliary has or have plus not plus verb in past particle. Just to remember, for the subject like I, you, we and they, we use the auxiliary have. And for the subjects uh, like he, she and it, we use the auxiliary has. The example, I have not or I haven't played tennis for five years. She has not or she hasn't, using the contraction form, played tennis for five years. Interrogative form. The interrogative form of present perfect is form using the auxiliary have or has plus subject plus very past participle. The examples that we have today. Have I played tennis for five years? Have you ever been to Great Britain? Has she washed the dishes yet? Have you recently eaten frog legs? The activities are, you will have to write some sentences in present perfect, negative, using the given elements. Follow the example. We not go to Paris. We haven't gone to Paris. The next activity is, you will have to write uh, some sentences in present perfect interrogative using the given elements. Follow the example. You read War and Peace. Have you read War and Peace? Well, guys, thank you for your attention. Take care and be safe during this time. Goodbye.